dozens of Republican officials in New York State are urging and battled GOP Congressman George Santos to resign. But he says he's not going anywhere, despite admitting to fabricating facts about his personal and professional life. Santos even tweeted yesterday that he was elected to serve the people, not the party or politicians. RJ O'Brien is live now on Capitol Hill. So Jay, what, what what's going to happen here? He just he re, he refuses to budge, even though it's come forward all this information about his professional life and personal life that are simply not true. But he's sticking by his lies. Yeah, and this problem isn't going away for House Republicans, Kira. Everywhere George Santos goes in the Capitol, practically, he gets chased by a pack of reporters asking him to respond to those falsehoods. GOP leaders now have this issue of what they're going to do about George Santos. You can't really unseat a congressman once they've been seated. It's hard to kick someone out of the House once they're in the House, and George Santos is now in the House. So Kevin McCarthy got the question today, what is he going to do as the Republican leader about George Santos? Here's a little of what he had to say. The voters of his district have elected him. He is seated. He is part of the Republican conference. He's got a long way to go to earn trust. So he will go before ethics. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable exactly as anybody else in this body would be. So McCarthy telegraphing there, he is going to handle this problem internally. They are not going to make a public punishment, it appears as of right now, of George Santos, Kira. And Santos actually appearing on Steve Bannon's uh, War Room podcast, which, by the way, is hosted by <laughs> the infamous, famous Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates, telling him he's lived an honest life. Yeah, what Gates guest say? hosting that podcast today. <laughs> And George Santos saying he'd lived an honest life, that he has not been accused of any wrongdoing in his life, that it would be a disservice to the voters of his district if he were to be removed from Congress, which is something that really can't happen, or if he were to step down from Congress like we've heard others call for him to do. So Santos, again, per his tweet that you referenced earlier, per this podcast appearance, not backing down, defiant, saying he's going to stay in Congress, but the calls for him to leave from within his own party are mounting, Kira. They're just not coming from GOP leadership. And the ethics complaint that was handed to Santos earlier this week. We'll follow that too. Jay O'Brien on the Hill. Jay, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.